Hi, this is Timothy with KeepoMed, and in this video, we will get a closer look at the Chison 8300 Human Ultrasound. We will examine the keyboard, its layout, the different ports that are found, and also the overall design. So let's first examine the layout and keys that are found on the keyboard. The layout of the keyboard is simple and organized. Certain keys are grouped together so that they can be accessed quickly. There are many multi-function keys, control knobs, and then one-touch keys as well. Also, the keys are backlit, allowing for easy operation in darker conditions. Overall, the layout is easy to understand and will not take much time to be familiar with it. The trackball is placed where it can be easily accessed with one hand, allowing easy control of the cursor on the screen. It is also backlit as well when used, and all the necessary keys used together with the trackball are within close range and surrounding it. So let's get a better idea of the keys around the trackball and note what functions they perform. The first key is the set key. This is a multi-function key that is used to make selections. Some of those include fixing a cursor position, a comment position, or selecting a menu. Now on the other side, we have a cancel key, this also has multiple functions depending on what is being performed. For example, it can be used to cancel a previous measurement step or even used to recall the annotation database when inserting comments. Now this key in the middle is used for making measurements. Pressing this key will bring up a menu with different measurement options that can be selected. It will also allow actual measurements to be taken on an image. First, a crosshatch is shown on the screen. Then select a starting point using the set key. Then move the trackball to the end point and press set again. The measurement will then be displayed on the screen. On the lower left of the keyboard is a menu key. Pressing this key will display or hide the menu on the right side of the screen. The key will be lit up when the menu is displayed on the screen. Now below is a toggle switch key. Moving it up or down will scroll through the menu items quickly. Now under the toggle switch key is a multi-function knob. It is primarily used to adjust settings of parameters in the menu. For example, when frequency is selected in the menu, turning the multi-function knob will adjust the probe frequency up or down. On the lower right of the keyboard is another group of keys. First are the display mode keys. B mode displays a single B mode image. BB will display two single B mode images at the same time. BM will display a B mode and M mode image at the same time. Also, by pressing the key twice, the system will enter in M display mode. 4B displays four single B mode images at the same time. Now to the right of the display mode keys is the probe selection key. It allows switching between the connected probes quickly with a touch of one button. The key below the probe key is an LR key. Pressing this key in B mode will reverse an image from left to right. Pressing the shift key and the LR key will also re reverse the image from up to down. Below these keys is another multi-function control knob. When rotating it in real-time status, it adjusts the total gain of the image. By pressing down on this knob, it will freeze or unfreeze the image. Let's now look at the keys in the direct center of the keyboard. There are six different keys grouped together. First is the memory key. This is used to save and recall still images, patient information, and manage files. Next is the comment key. Press this key to enter comment status and add comments on an image. The next key is the cine key, and it is used to manually start the cine loop function. Now in the bottom row is the print key. This will print the screen image directly when a video printer is connected to the system. Next is the body mark key. 
This is only available in frozen status. Pressing it will open the body mark menu and allow selecting the correct body mark and confirming the probe scanning position on the screen. And finally, this is the examination report key. Pressing this key will open a report menu and generate two types of reports, a normal report and a cardiac report. On each side of the group of six keys, there are two multifunction knobs. On the left are the depth, zoom, and IP settings. Pressing down on the knob will allow selecting each function. The green light will light up indicating which setting can be adjusted. To make adjustments, simply rotate the control knob. Now on the right side, the knob has focus number, focus position, and frequency settings. To adjust these settings, the same procedure is followed. Let's now look at the top portion of the keyboard. First is the actual alphanumeric keyboard. It functions similar to a computer keyboard. The keys are used for inputting annotations and patient information. An important key that is frequently used is the clear key. This is used to clear measurements, body marks, and annotations on the screen. Above the alphanumeric keyboard is a group of six different keys. The first five are the examination mode keys. Each one corresponds to the specific exam mode that is being used. First is abdomen, then OBGYN, next is small parts, then is urology, and finally user defined. The default presets for each examination mode have been saved in the system and can be recalled by pressing the correct one. Now the last key in this row is the patient key. Pressing this key will open a dialog box and allow the setup of new patient data. The final feature of the keyboard is the STC slides. There are six different slides used to adjust gain compensation in different depth segments. Let's take a closer look at the connectivity options and the ports that are found on the 8300. There are two probe ports that are on the side that are standard on this ultrasound. Many ultrasounds only feature one probe port with an additional available at an extra cost. So this is a nice feature on this system that keeps the cost down and allows for broader use. Let's look at the back of the 8300 and see some of the other features. At the top is the power switch. Below are two USB ports. Here is the power adapter port and below that is the VGA port. This is a remote port, also a LAN port, a foot switch port, and a video out port, which is good for a video printer. Finally, let's take an overall look at the design of the 8300. You notice the screen size, it's a 10 inch CRT monitor. It has contrast and brightness control knobs integrated into it. Also, the keyboard easily folds up and locks into place, and it has a very sturdy carrying handle which allows you to transport it if necessary. And some other nice features are that it also has two probe holders on the side, a probe cord holder as well. It keeps the cords nice and organized, and a gel holder on the top of the machine. So we've been able to briefly look at the Chison 8300 and its keyboard layout, the different connectivity ports, and the overall design. For more information or to purchase the Chison 8300 Human Ultrasound, please visit our website at kibomed.com.